Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to test if printing upside down with the Ditto Pro can eliminate overhangs so you can print without support and have them come out smoother. I was curious after doing the experiment on printing upside down since gravity works the other way now. I guess we'll find out from this experiment. We have the Ditto Pro already in its upside down state. I believe the print should come out nicely as gravity now is working the other way, which eliminates the overhangs. But I guess we'll find out soon. It looks really nice so far. Wait, not anymore. Looks like the bridging in the middle failed. Let's take it off and have a closer look at it. It started out really nice on the sides. And then it looks like the bridging started to fail here. I think it wasn't sturdy enough here, causing the print to move up and down. It may also be orientation of the print, so let's flip it around and see how it prints. Now let's start the print and see how it goes. Let's compare the prints. The middle didn't come out as nice as I expected. Both sides had it curling and not sticking properly. The middle looks relatively the same as the first one. Next we have the first print that wasn't sturdy enough causing the print to move every time the nozzle got there, which is right here. Last, we have one from printing upright with no support as well. There's the same issue we see in the black one. The middle one doesn't bridge as nice, with no support. Well, there we have it. We tried out if printing upside down can eliminate overhangs, and it looks like it doesn't work from the two prints that we see. That being said, from our first experiment of printing upside down, the bridge on the print came out quite nicely. We may have to factor in the size and how long the overhangs are. Printing upside down may eliminate small overhangs but not the big ones. That's the end of our experiment today. Remember to subscribe below and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.